uh, join me for the last section, it'll be a very short section, just introducing the basics of news writing. So, writing the news. So, I'd like you to go away and have a look at today's top news sort stories on the, the BBC and in the Manchester Evening News. So, I'd like once you've uh, when you're doing that, just have a look at those top stories. Look at the, the top two or three stories that are, are on there. Uh, in the news section of their websites or if you've got a copy of the Manchester Evening News that's even better go and have a look at what's on the front page and what's on the first couple of pages um, and whatever the, the topics might be uh, on uh, the day you're looking at this think of three words that describe the writing style of the opening paragraph so we're now looking not not at the actual topics not at you know what the stories are about I'm asking you to start to think about the writing style how have they written those stories? So if you uh, pause, have a look at uh, those, come up with that list of three words that summarise the, the writing style, and then uh, press play again when you've completed your list. Okay. So again, I've uh, come up with a list of um, three words that I think summarise news writing. Be interested. Um, to know how they compare to the ones that you came up with. Um, so for now, these are my three. Um, they should be clear. It's really important that news writing, that the style is really clear and the reader understands everything. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's um, it changes the meaning or it becomes infantile or anything like that. Uh, it just has to be really clear language. So not using complicated words, not using really uh, complicated sentence structures, not using really long sentences, all of those um, uh, things help make it clear. So to that end, needs to be concise. So hopefully when you've looked at those those BBC and MEN stories, have uh, you seen that the each sentence is short and punchy and gets straight to the point. So stick to the facts. They don't give opinion. Uh, and they avoid using uh, those long words and they avoid repetition as well. And crucially, they should be correct. So you need to get the facts right, you need to get the grammar right, you need to get the punctuation right, the spelling and the way that you use quotes uh, have to be right. Now we'll be dealing with uh, some of those matters through the, uh, through the module, making sure you get the grammar and the punctuation spelling and quotes, getting those things right, but also developing that style where your writing is really clear and it's concise. So for me, those are three absolutely crucial qualities of news writing. Never lose sight of the fact that news is all about telling the truth and about writing it in an informative, lively and balanced way with facts and not opinion. A lot of people struggle with this that um, they want to write their opinion and they want to give their opinions. To be honest, as a news reporter, I'm not interested. All I'm interested in is the, is how um, well you can report something so that it's clear, concise and correct, which means you need to step away from your own opinions as a news reporter. There are other places where your opinions uh, are perfectly valid, but not in news reporting. So once we've got the basic style of clear, concise and correct, we need to start thinking about how do we structure a news story. So to start with, we need to grab their attention. I said earlier on, there's no point uh, writing anything or producing anything if it's boring and nobody uh, looks at it or reads it. We need to tell them the most important information first. It's a general truth that um, people will not read all of your work. They might read the top end of your work but think about how you look at news. Do you read everything to the last paragraph? Probably not. So you need to tell them the most important information first. You need to get balance. Absolutely crucial to any news story is that you get both sides of the story. And this feeds into this idea that your opinion doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter who you agree with. So you can be reporting on a story that you feel passionately about, but you still need to get the other side of that, uh, um, of that debate to make sure that there's balance. And you need to use quotes to provide uh, a range of opinions, not your opinion, the opinions of people you speak to. So quotes are there, to, they provide opinion and they provide what we call colour. Uh, so it allows you to step away from just reporting basic facts. The quotes from other people are what provide colour in a story. 
So I always like to think that you need to get into character. As I say, I'm asking you to leave your opinions uh, at home when you're a news reporter uh, so that you are capable of reporting on something um, in, a, in a professional manner. And for me, the character is this. You need to be a neutral and invisible narrator. I don't want to see you in the news story. I don't want to know what you believe. I should be able to read your stories and have no idea what you believe, uh, whether you are in favour of something or if you're against something or whether you're highly critical of something or whether you support something. So you need to be the neutral and invisible narrator, no matter how you feel about a topic. So that's pretty much it for today. We've talked about the whole point of journalism. We've done risk assessment. We've done um, ethical approval. We've talked about the assessments uh, and the way that module structured, structured. And then we've just briefly talked uh, about uh, the basics of news writing, about writing in a, in a style that's clear, concise and correct. And we've talked about the way that you uh, conduct yourself in a, as a neutral, invisible narrator of, um, of information, of things which are happening. So that's the end of this um, lecture, this online lecture. We'll be seeing each other at the face-to-face -face workshop, uh, or if it's not uh, me, you should be seeing me in, in week one. Um, uh, in other weeks, you'll have either me or uh, other um, tutors. And during that, in week one, we'll be looking at the basic principles of writing news. So expanding on some of those issues we've talked about today, but then also starting to write news, starting to actually get your hands on the keyboard and writing news. So I look forward to seeing you at the face-to-face -face workshop and um, I'll be happy to answer any questions uh, you have at that point. So see you.